So, uh, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from Mass Miller. Thanks for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, the Mass Miller uh, sandbox plan. Uh, a lot of customers have uh, been um, having questions on what it is, what does it uh, have to offer. Uh, so, I thought maybe it is best to uh, schedule a webinar on this and talk in detail about uh, what exactly it offers and why do you really need it. What is uh, the sandbox plan that uh, Mass Miller offers? So, um, I'm sure you're all aware of um, Salesforce, Ox, how they're structured. Uh, you have a production environment in which you're actually working. Uh, that's where you basically using, are uh, doing all the daily activities in Salesforce CR. That's your production org, right? There's something called a sandbox org, uh, which is meant to do um, kind of a, a gradual rollout of uh, Salesforce customizations uh, that your company would want to do. Uh, it could be you know any kind of customization, whether it is Apex development or custom page layouts or workflows, process builders. So any custom process that you want to kind of implement, typically any Salesforce uh, user or any Salesforce um, um, you know uh, customer would uh, do that in the sandbox environment before they actually roll out to production, right? That's the kind of a, a definition of a sandbox. Right? Um, and Mass Miller does give you plans for both production and sandbox. So what you see in our pricing is typically the per user license and you, know, you get the email plan, so on and so forth. But um, um, somewhere in our pricing page, you would see the sandbox plan is also offered. And um, um, the, reason why we, the reason why we have done this is because you know, every customer Mass Miller has today, um, you know, some of them do have customizations in their Salesforce Arc and some do not. Uh, if you're a straightforward Salesforce uh, CRM customer do not have customizations and stuff like that, you never use Sandbox, uh, that's a different story. But um, uh, what we noticed is that uh, some of our customers uh, have um, you know, heavy customizations that they do in Salesforce and there's a, a tighter integration that they have with Mass Mailer um, in, their, uh, in their Salesforce environments. Uh, so in order to facilitate uh, those customers, we have come up with a sandbox plan, right? Um, and uh, basically, uh, if at all you wanted Mass Mailer to be installed and you wanted it to be working, in a sandbox environment, which is not a production environment of your Salesforce, then you will need the sandbox plan. Right? And as you know, we Mass Miller uses SendGrid uh, platform behind the scenes. Every production environment where you have the Mass Miller installed, you also get the SendGrid credentials, right? Similarly, any sandbox plan that you're getting from Mass Miller, let's say you wanted uh, to buy uh, one sandbox plan, we are gonna give you a uh, SunGrid credentials that is dedicated to for that uh, sandbox, which will have a maximum of 10K emails per month, okay? So the uh, SunGrid account does um, you know, authenticate your domain and IP address, as you know. Uh, the same thing will happen even for the sandbox environment too. Uh, we're gonna authenticate your domain and you can leverage the same IP address. So it's the same IP address will be assigned to that particular uh, SunGrid account as well. And if you're gonna have more than one sandbox environment or a testing environment for Salesforce, then ideally you should be having a separate Mass Miller sandbox plan. Not that you have to have it, it all depends on what is your deployment or the release cycle and you know, how do you roll out all your changes um, in your Salesforce environment. Do you have one QA environment, more than one QA environment? Do you have UAT environment? any kind of integration testing, whatever it could be. So whatever um, you want to call those uh, Salesforce Ox as, um, you know, we assume that uh, you also need to test mass mailer in various uh, testing uh, cycles of your deployment. So it's ideal that you get a separate sandbox plan uh, for each one of those environments. Uh, and again, we can discuss further uh, on your needs and then we can decide um, how you want to structure this. Uh, for your own company when it comes to mass Miller sandbox plan. 
And again, we talked about this, uh, but I just want to get into details. So why do you really need a, uh, the sandbox plan, right, from Mass Mailer? Okay. First and foremost, as you all know, um, every email that you're sending does capture email events, such as opens and clicks and all of that. Um, and the technical architecture behind this is, you know, SendGrid is sending out these emails, and then it is also posting those events back to Mass Mailer, and Mass Mailer listens to those email events right within Salesforce. So there's an event notification URL that you must have uh, seen uh, that is done in the setup, um, you know, Mass Mailer setup. Uh, so that URL is unique for each Salesforce org. Okay, uh, so meaning if you are trying to use the same production sender credentials in sandbox, uh, you're gonna invalidate that email cap the email event capturing. So uh, you'll actually get into uh, the technical issues. So do not use the same uh, sender credentials that you have in production in sandbox too. That is gonna invalidate the um, event notification URL and your events will not come through in production. Uh, so basically, if you want the email events working in um, Sandbox, you would certainly want to uh, have separate SendGrid account and make sure the event notification URL has been set up properly. Okay, that's the fundamental reason. And um, also, uh, whenever you are trying to do an upgrade uh, to the next level of mass mailer, uh, you would want to make sure that it is working properly based on the processes that you have implemented in your own Salesforce environment. Uh, make sure it's working sandbox before you actually, um, you know, upgrade uh, mass mailer to uh, the production environment. And also if you don't really train your users on the new uh, version of mass mailer, they'll get confused. Uh, so you don't want to really just go upgrade and production and all of a sudden your users end users may just see something new which they are not even aware or they do not know how to use it so you really want to um, you know your um, power user or admins uh, would want to install any mass mail and new release in the sandbox environment first make sure it's working according to your uh, business requirements uh, make sure that you're actually training all those users in the sandbox environment and then upgrade to production. So that way, by the time you upgrade, your users uh, will get used to that functionality and they'll be very happy and productive, okay? And if you are having any custom development or if you've done any custom development or customizations done on top of mass mailer, then you should actually test that in sandbox environment before you actually deploy those changes in the production environment. It's, it's very important. It, you have to um, adhere to this particular um, need and make sure that uh, you know you don't mess up your custom customization and uh, development uh, in the production environment directly. Um, you know that may um, just create a mess if you straight away uh, try to deploy mass mailer uh, in uh, production when you have custom development or customization done. So very important. So um, how much does it cost and you know, what does it really give you, right? Uh, so each sandbox plan, um, you know, that's per company basically, meaning uh, you could have more than one sandbox plans. Uh, it costs you $29.99 per month per uh, the sandbox plan. And there's no additional cost for the users. So you can have um, you know, any number of users. We don't really restrict you on the number of users in sandbox. But you will be limited with respect to the emails that you're getting. It is 10K emails per month. That's the maximum that you're getting. And you can add as many sandbox plans as possible based on you know, how many QA environments you're gonna have, and UAT and integration test environments, you know, whatever it is, just you know, figure out how many you, you would need. And based on that, we can actually assign that many sandbox plans and you'll have to pay the $29.99 per month uh, for each one of those sandbox plans. And we make sure that the sending domains are also authenticated in Sandbox. Uh, so any emails that you're sending uh, while you're testing in Sandbox, those emails are completely authenticated. And you would be using the same IP address as production. So you're not really you know, uh, hurting your domain and IP reputation. Um, so that way 
uh, your sandbox plan will work as if it's kind of you know having its own uh, mass mail environment with uh, you know every single thing that you really need the sending domain and the IP address would be authenticated. All of that would be done in sandbox. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So like no questions. Um, once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And here is the contact information of uh, a company and uh, my or my direct contact information as well. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Um, you know, uh, you can reach us anytime at hello at massmiller.io. Um, and if you uh, want to join these weekly webinars, uh, just look out for uh, the new webinar that'll be published on our website and also social channels. And if you're new to Massmiller, feel free to um, get on our free trial. Uh, just by going to a website, massmiller.io, and then click on the install uh, button. And I um, request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we, uh, we have um, many videos that can really help you to understand um, mass mailer features better, and also generic topics about email marketing and the Salesforce uh, integration and you know how mass mailer uh, really can help you, your organization. So various topics that we have uh, spoken about um, in the past uh, few years and all of those videos are posted to our YouTube channel. I, I request you to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe there. Thank you so much once again for attending this webinar. Have a great day, have a great night. Thank you. <laughs>